welcome today to the National Sea Life Centre in Birmingham. Today we're here for a really good look round. It's a Monday, so it should be nice and quiet. We're here to find out what it's like, if you should go, and if it's worth the ticket price. While you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. We do day out reviews all around the country and upload once a week. So you're looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I love the Sea Life Centre. It's been a long time, so let's have a look and see like, what's going on. Let's go. So for an indoor penguin enclosure, this is really good. You've got glass that comes right down so you can see underwater and above water. And there's loads of these Gen 2 penguins in there. Really good. As with loads of sea life centers, there's loads of sort of tunnels you can crawl through to get in and under the water. So Izzy's gonna uh, demonstrate right now. I think it's supposed to be for kids. So the instant you come into this sea life centre in Birmingham, there is an amazing kind of atmosphere and ambiance. All of this sort of rock and planting. You've then obviously got big tanks behind you. It is really impressive. Now this looks like quite a big tank. I mean, the size of these fish. Look at him. <laughs> Love these things, these black chin guitar sharks. They are amazing. There's one over there against the window. Such a crazy thing. So they do have a rock pool experience here where you get to touch things like starfish and maybe anemone and things like that. Again, they're trying to really emphasize the sort of uh, pollution and environmental aspect of it. And you then, once you've had your experience, it's kind of one at a time. There are then sinks over here to wash your hands and hand sanitize after. How did that go for you? Well, they're, they're really kind of quite hard and spiny in actual fact. They're not particularly squashy and friendly feeling, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it was weird though. Yeah. I've never really done that before. And it's, it's kind of a bit disconcerting. Yeah. Sea otters are just amazing. I was not expecting this at a sea life centre. You can see them here in the background. They're just constantly playing. They've got this like yellow hose that they love wrapping themselves up in. Just amazing. Those sea otters, what do you think? Really good. A must see if you're coming here. And just to, even if there's a bit of a crowd, just wait, just be patient. Yeah, take your time and eventually a bench or whatever will be free and you can just sit and relax and watch them then. Incredible. I am so excited for this. So we're near the big ocean tunnel. I think this is the big tank behind us. There is a really big shark just laying here. Cannot wait for this. Wow. It is amazing. Got like sharks and everything. So this is the UK's only 360 degree tunnel. Even the floor is glass. There's huge sharks in here. It is absolutely incredible. Honestly, it is worth the ticket price just for this. It is, just for this. This is a great experience. Definitely come here. Just yeah, I am really impressed. It's so relaxing. You can see in this huge tank, that's the 360 tunnel in there. Really, really impressive. This tank is just vast. There's also loads of windows to look in. You get amazing, amazing views of these black tip reef sharks. So many, so many fish in there. So that is our day over here at the National Sea Life Centre Birmingham. What did you think? I think it was a really good place for a few hours here. Definitely worth a visit. 
just so calming. It's like being in a spa. <laughs> yeah, all that lovely music, dark kind of lighting, all the sort of rippling water, just watching all the marine life. Really, really good. Yeah. It's about £20.65 if you buy your tickets online, that's for adults. It's a couple of pounds more if you buy them on the door, so make sure you do that. We did manage to get two for one using those Cadbury's vouchers that you get on various multi-packs. Um, so that was really worth it. It makes it so much cheaper. A couple of hours, you probably can't spend much longer than that here. So you're probably going to need something else to do in Birmingham. Luckily there is loads of other things around here to do. There's also loads of good restaurants down here by the canal side as well. I think the negative is that you've got to pay extra for the 4D cinema experience. Um, it's only like, well they say it's 13 minutes long, it kind of felt quicker than that. <laughs> yeah, it was very much for little kids. So unless you've got little kids here, I'd probably give it a miss. I don't think it was worth it. If you want to just come and just relax, the ambiance is fantastic. It is a great place obviously, there's loads around the country. So definitely worth a visit. Yeah, and also just that theming as well, that is sort of very immersive, very cleverly done with multiple levels. Um, I think they've sort of made the most of their space. It's packed in, there's so much to see and do. So, all in all, a really good day. Few little minor niggles, but nothing at all really. And for the price, I think it's a very good couple of hours. So that's it from us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.